So now let's go with the full lifecycle of our CloudFormation templates, and we are going to delete it. That means we're going to delete the underlying S3 buckets. So one thing though, is that you cannot delete a non-empty S3 bucket. And so this is something we'll see in the documentation, but to delete a non-S3 bucket, you must first delete all the objects inside it, and then CloudFormation will be able to delete your bucket. So let's have a look at these both cases and then go ahead with our hands-on. So let's go into the documentation of our S3 buckets. And there is an important notice here that says that you can only delete empty buckets. Deletion will fail for buckets that have contents. So let's verify this behavior. We're going to upload a file into our S3 buckets. Let's just upload whatever file we want. It really doesn't matter. So we're going to upload it. Okay, this is done. Now we can close this window. And as we can see, we have one object within our S3 buckets. And now let's go into CloudFormation. We take this tag called demo S3. We delete it and yes, says do, yes, delete tag. So again, as you may expect, within the events, we're going to go into delete in progress. And then the logical ID my S3 bucket is also in delete in progress. And if I re refresh, as we can see, we are now in a delete failed state. And so if we look at the status reason, so this is very, very, very important for you for, to be able to read what's happening in here to debug your own CloudFormation templates because I cannot debug them for you. So this delete has failed. And the reason is that the bucket you tried to delete is not empty. So, okay, this is pretty explicit. And then the delete failed of the stack itself failed because we failed to delete the logical resource, my S3 bucket. So fairly easy, let's address this issue. For this, we can just go into this object, we delete it. And yes, we want to permanently delete this object. Click on delete objects. Now my bucket is empty. And what I should be able to do is try again to delete my stack. So let's delete the stack again. And we're saying, hey, we want to delete it. Now, as you can see, we can retain some resources if we wanted to just skip the deletion of them, but we're not going to do this, okay? So let's delete the stack and try again. Now the delete is in progress. But now that my S3 bucket is empty, we should have no problems deleting this entire stack. So as we can see, the delete is complete. The stack has disappeared from the left-hand side, and we're good to go now. If we wanted to find it, we can go into delete it, and the data around this stack is still here, okay? But by default, it will show you only the active stacks within CloudFormation. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next lecture.